Hello Alexers and welcome to a fascinating Sunday motivational video on what we call Millionaire Math. Most of you are looking to cross the first milestone in your financial journey, that of making your first million dollars. But every time we meet young and passionate investors, we realize they never actually look into the numbers related to their goals. Everybody just wants to be rich, but nobody wants to get there one dollar at a time. And that's why it isn't working all that well for you. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. In this one, we're doing the hard work for you. Nobody is giving this much value as you're about to receive in this video, so pay attention and do yourself a favor and take some notes. Here are more than 15 examples of millionaire math. Number 1. Earn it as a salary. Believe it or not, most people will earn over $1 million in their lifetime. The average person can earn $50,000 per year for 20 years, and that's your million. The thing is, most of them have to deal with the cost of being alive, so they never notice the money. There are many jobs that pay incredibly well. If you earn $100,000 per year, it's enough to work for 10 years to hit the million dollar mark. If you're really good at what you do, earning at least $250,000 per year isn't out of reach, which gets you to that seven-figure territory in only four years. If you want to earn more, go where the money is. Here are five jobs you can earn over $250,000 a year. 1. Finance $100,000 a year is a starting salary for the top people working in finance. Get a job with a hedge fund and do it right, and at the end of the year, a bonus could be over $1 million. 2. Law The more valuable a client, the bigger your retainer and paycheck. 3. Medicine Plastic surgery has been booming for the past decade, and with the push from social media, you can easily earn more than $250,000 a year. 4. Technology Internet security, important positions in tech companies, they all pay incredibly well. 5. Oil and gas Drilling is your go-to segment here. Although the industry pays well, you need to be smart about your focus if you want to earn the big bucks and stay relevant. High salaries are reserved for people who are really good at what they're doing. If this is your way to go, please remember, people will pay you in direct proportion to the problems you are able to solve for them. Number 2. Invest $100,000 in an S&P 500 index fund for 25 years. The average return on these index funds has been a little over 10% a year consistently. Most ALAXers should be able to set aside $100,000, invest it in an index fund like Vanguard and pretend the money was never there. If you do this when you're fairly young, by the time your child grows up, you could make them a millionaire, or you could simply take it out 25 years from now and travel the world in your retirement. Here are the best 5 funds in our opinion right now that almost everyone can access. 1. Fidelity Zero Large Cap Index 2. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF 3. SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust 4. iShares Core S&P 500 ETF and 5. Schwab S&P 500 Index Fund Just Google them and go from there. If this is the way you want to go about it, please remember, time will pass either way. Allow it to make you rich in the process. Number 3. Sell 100,000 self-published books at $10 each The average price for a self-published book is $9.99. Today, you can learn how to do it on the internet. It doesn't cost you much and you get to keep most of the money. If you go through a publishing company, the math gets a lot more complicated. Here's what the industry standard is for a brand new writer that gets picked up by a publishing house. The advance, $10,000. 6 to 10% of the book sales, usually in two tiers. A lower percentage, up to 10,000 copies. 1 to 2% higher after that. 20 to 30% of the ebook sales. Bring it all together and you're only keeping around 15% of the price the customer pays for the book. To get your million dollars this way, you'll need to bring in over $6.5 million in sales at $15 a book. That means you should sell roughly 440,000 copies. The mistake most amateur authors make is they believe people will simply want to buy their books out of the kindness of their hearts. Writing a book is the easy part. Getting hundreds of thousands of people to buy it is the real skill. Number 4. Double a $1,000 investment 11 times If you want to be rich, you need to learn the art of doubling money. This has very little to do with gambling or luck since we know that was the first thing that came to your mind. Stop thinking like that. Instead, put aside $1,000 and figure out how you can double the amount you have. 
The two most common ways to do this are one, flip goods, buy cheap, move the product, sell for a higher price, and then repeat. Or two, buy tools, use tools to provide a service, use the new money to buy more tools and repeat. If you really want to test if you're actually an entrepreneur or just pretending to be one, test yourself by doubling money in different ways. Everybody can make money if they have a lot of it. The challenge is to make money when you have very little. Number 5. Make a $200,000 down payment on a million dollar property. What we're about to tell you will shock most of the community, but you can go from zero to one million dollars worth of real estate property in seven to eight years, and there's more than one way to do it. People are actually building wealth through real estate all the time. $15,000 as a down payment and a steady job allows you to purchase $100,000 of property over 30 years. This is why the most important thing you need to understand about money is credit and your ability to leverage it to build wealth. If banks trust you enough to pay it back, they will give you money. In most countries, a 20% down payment is acceptable by the bank. If you're unable to pay it back, they simply take the property away from you and resell it. With this math, $50,000 gets you $250,000 worth of property. $100,000 gets you $500,000 worth of property. $200,000 gets you $1 million worth of property. Okay, so we're gonna simplify the process as much as we can, so pay attention. You have to save $200,000 and purchase a $1 million apartment complex of 10 units. You're left to pay $800,000 over 30 years. 30 years times 12 months per year, 360 payments in total. Your mortgage is $800,000. 360 equals $2,200 per month. Each of your 10 units rents out at $1,000 a month, meaning your investment is bringing in $10,000 every month. Your monthly costs are $2,200 for the mortgage, plus let's say $2,800 in maintenance, utilities, and insurance. That's $5,000 worth of expenses in total. After paying your expenses every month, you're left with an extra $5,000. This is called cash flow. If you wanted to, you could simply live off this money on top of the property paying for itself. You could also use the $5,000 to pay the mortgage quicker on top of the $2,200 you're already paying, which would mean you would completely pay off the loan in eight years and change. And that, my friend, is how you turn $200,000 into $1 million in eight years. To keep this example simple, we rounded up the numbers and we brought together the interest the bank charges and the appreciation of the property, which ballpark cancel each other out. And if this got you a little bit confused and excited at the same time, we recommend you pick up the book on rental property investing by Brandon Turner. There's a link to it both in the description and the top comment. Out of everything out there, it's probably the best all-rounder on the topic. Plus, we're fans of the Bigger Pockets podcast. And if you don't have money to pay for the book, you could always go to alux.com slash freebook and sign up with Audible. If it's the first time you're doing this, you can get the book on rental property investing for free as an audiobook. Number 6. Teach 10,000 people a $100 skill people are willing to pay for your knowledge. We want to accelerate our growth and there's no quicker way to get there than have someone who's been doing it for years show you the ropes. This is why e-learning is picking up speed. People don't want to waste time going through all the bullshit in order to get the good stuff that they're willing to pay for. Find a valuable enough problem that you can solve for people and they will gladly pay you for the solution. If you can't deliver $100 worth of value, settle for less. You can see it on Udemy all the time. For example, this course on Microsoft Excel for beginners sells for only $10 to $20, but over 400,000 people have purchased it. That's $4 million in revenue generated by a single teaching experience. No matter what you do in business, you need to understand this fundamental rule. A transaction takes place when the value for the customer is higher than the asking price. Number 7. 6,500 people pay $12.99 a month for a year. This is the standard Netflix model. Subscriptions are a big part of the modern economy. Your service should be valuable enough for people to buy in and stick around. In order to get a million dollars a year in revenue, you'll need 16,600 people to pay $5 every month for a year. That's what Apple Arcade charges. 8,300 people to pay $10 a month. That's what Spotify Premium charges. Or 4,600 people to pay $18 a month, which is what we're currently paying for YouTube Premium's family plan. The average American spends approximately $110 per month on subscription services. Subscription boxes were a fad a couple of years ago, but as you can tell, they've toned down quite a bit. 
Yes, Dollar Shave Club and Blue Apron are still around, but they're no longer as aggressive as they used to be. If you were to start fresh right now, a subscription service would work for one, automation. People pay to automate things in their lives. Two, hassle-free entertainment. Do not disturb me while I'm being entertained. And three, part of a unique community that's being gatekept through a paywall. Find your space, build trust, and provide sufficient value for people to pay what you're asking for and stick around. Number eight, sell $33 million worth of property as a real estate agent. The average real estate broker gets a 3% commission on each sale. In order to hit $1 million from that commission alone, you'll need to sell $33 million worth of real estate. Although that might seem like a lot, depending on where you live in the world, the time it takes to get there varies. But real estate agents actually have an unfair competitive advantage because they're able to identify undervalued deals on their own. You're not going to get to the million dollars by collecting commissions alone, so you become an investor as well. The position you find yourself in allows you to purchase deals for 80% of what they're actually worth to a normal buyer. If you're smart and have some money put aside, you can take advantage of this gap in the market and accelerate your growth. If you're a real estate agent and you're not investing in real estate, there's something wrong with you and your understanding of the marketplace. Number 9. 500 Million Views on YouTube this is a ballpark figure. You could get there with 100 million views or you could barely come close with 1 billion views if the content isn't right for advertisers. On average, if you can get your channel to over 500 million views, you've probably earned over $1 million from ad revenue. This doesn't mean you can't make even more money and get to the seven-figure amount quicker. Many YouTubers accelerate their financial journey by selling merch, accepting sponsors, or even developing their own products. How much advertisers are willing to pay for a sponsorship or an ad on your videos depends on two things. One, the number of people you can reach, in this case, views. And two, the quality of the audience, or better said, their ability to purchase what you're selling as an advertiser. Multiply these numbers one with the other and you get a rough score of how valuable you are to the marketplace. By the way, this applies to almost every other content space as well, not just YouTube. The highest paying industries are one, medical and health loss, two, law, three, financial, and the lowest paying niches are one, personal vlogs, two, gaming and kids, and three, music. This is why Dr. Mike is making more money than Takashi69. Number 10, crypto with the right multiplier. Here's the thing about speculative crypto trading. If you're going to speculate and gamble, might as well go for a 10,000 times return. If you like the technology behind a crypto project, back it up, but do it early. People always buy when it's expensive. Here's the difference. Back in 2013, in the span of a month, Bitcoin jumped in value from $150 in mid-May to $1,000 by the end of November. You might be thinking, even if I got in at $1,000 per Bitcoin, I would have still made a killing, since right now it's trading at just under $10,000 a coin. But let's look at the math. If you purchased Bitcoin at $1,000 and held on to it until today, you would have 10 x your money 9-ish times to keep up with the latest numbers, but who's keeping track? But if you purchased only a month earlier at $150 per coin, you would have multiplied your money 66.6 .6 times. I know, the devil's number. Ooh. This is the type of difference a single month can make when it comes to investing, especially in new age technologies. But you're probably thinking that you don't really understand the technology and this has kept you away from it and we always said you should only invest in things you understand. For the past couple of months, more and more of our non-tech friends have reached out asking for guidance when it comes to not only understanding the blockchain space, but actually step-by-step -step guides to buying and storing crypto. So many did this to the point we started forwarding conversations we've had just to not have to go through every single detail over and over again. But this sparked an idea. If so many of our investor friends are looking for help, why not bring it all together and create the ultimate Alux guide to getting started with Bitcoin? We bet the community would find something like that valuable, or so we think. That's why we set up alux.com slash Bitcoin. If you're interested in a course like this, leave your email. If enough of you are interested in learning how to buy, securely store, and get started using this technology, maybe we'll just go ahead and build it for you guys. Number 11, get 200 million streams on Apple Music. For those of you who'd be interested to know, Spotify pays 32 thousandths of a dollar per stream. That's less than a cent. 
Apple Music has the average rate of 56 thousandths of a dollar, Google Music at 55 thousandths of payout rate, and Deezer is slightly lower at 43 thousandths of a dollar. Your best shot is getting those Apple Music numbers up, because apparently they pay the most. But don't look down on Spotify since they have the most paying subscribers as follows. Spotify, 271 million users and 124 million subscribers. Apple Music, 60 million subscribers. YouTube Music, 20 million subscribed, and you'll not even believe this, but Amazon Music has 55 million customers. It might not sound like a lot of money per stream, but think of how many times you play a song on repeat if it hits the right vibes for you, and everybody does that. You're not gonna watch an Alex video 100 times in a row, but we know people who, once they get hooked on a song, they listen to it until they can't listen to it no more. Number 12. Own 10% of a company valued at $10 million. Although the hype around startups has toned down a lot more recently, the serious entrepreneurs are still pushing hard to grow their new businesses. If you're one of three founders, by the time the company proves the business model and raises enough money to be valued at over $10 million, you should have at least 10% of the shares left for yourself. Some of you might not like the sound of that and almost all of you will remain poor. Your big fish in a non-existent pond mentality is hurting your chances of building wealth. 10% of a big pie is a lot more than 100% of nothing. You have to learn to use percentages to work for you. Sometimes an equity payment or a royalty for that matter will be worth more in the long run than taking a lump sum of money and walking out the door feeling victorious. Our all-time favorite example is Ronald Wayne, the third co-founder of Apple who sold his 10% share in the company for only $800. Just to put things into perspective, if he owned 10% of Apple today, Ronald would be the richest man in the world at $138 billion. He now lives in a trailer park and lies to people about how it doesn't bother him. He even screwed up twice. He used to have the original 1976 contract from when the company was started. A couple of years later, he sold it because he needed some quick cash. Some time goes by and the contract is put up for sale at auction and sells for $1.59 million. Ronald just can't seem to catch a break. Number 13. Sell 20,000 products with a $50 margin. By this point in the video, we realize there are a million ways to use math to make yourself a millionaire. So we wanted to bundle everything product related into this one so we don't end up with a three hour long video. The math is pretty simple. Sell 1 million products at a $1 profit margin. Sell 100,000 products with a $10 profit margin. Sell 1,000 products with a $1,000 profit margin. Sell 100 products with a $10,000 profit margin. You get the gist of it. The most profitable industries are pharma and supplements, beauty products, and drinks and liquor. This is, of course, without mentioning digital products, which basically, once finalized, have little to no running costs. It takes the same effort to sell $20,000 worth of product as it takes to sell $1 million worth. You're just not focused enough. Number 14. Divorce someone who's worth at least $3 million. You might be wondering why 3 million and not 2, considering it's usually a 50-50 split. This is because you don't actually know how millionaire math works. Basically, the lawyers, executors, and everyone else involved will eat away at whatever money you think is left. And if it gets messy, you can expect up to a third of the money to be lost in the process. The biggest winners in a divorce are the lawyers. Without a prenuptial agreement, a divorce can get incredibly messy and expensive. Involving the state in your finances shows a lot of trust in what is a statistical improbability. If you're soon to be married, the most valuable thing you can do is to keep a history of the wealth you've accumulated before getting married. We know this doesn't sound sexy, but it'll save you a lot of money, stress, and sleepless nights. Money trouble is the number one cause of divorce, followed by adultery, which eventually results in money trouble. Number 15. One million dollars in one deal. A single deal can be worth a lot of money if you position yourself correctly, but this doesn't happen overnight. In almost every case where big money is thrown around, the deal is the result of years of effort and positioning. The most common ways people get a million dollar plus deals are an artist or athlete signing with a new label or team, a writer sells book rights to be turned into a TV series or a movie, a bigger company acquires your company, your invention and patent is licensed or acquired by a bigger fish that needs it. A developer needs a piece of land you own, or you blow up on the internet overnight and things happen from there. Of course, there are more instances of potential million dollar deals, but in almost all of these cases, it took years of preparation, work, and effort to find yourself in a position where this kind of money makes sense.
Here's an example that happened earlier this week. Spotify, the streaming company, signed a licensing deal for three years only to move the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, including the 11 years of content, to Spotify exclusively. Joe Rogan was paid between $125 to $150 million up front for the deal, and there's a good chance there's more money on the table if his audience follows him to the platform. And if you think $125 million sounds crazy, you're still not fluent in millionaire math. Here's why the math makes sense. Last year, Joe Rogan made at least $30 million from his podcast alone. In the next three years, he would have made $100 million on his own. So Spotify comes in and removes the risk from the equation. You might be wondering, just how much money will Spotify make from this exclusivity deal? Well, upon announcing the contract, Spotify share prices jumped by 8.4. Spotify's market cap jumped by over $1 billion. Spotify turned $100 million into $1 billion with a pen. And that, my friend, is how millionaire math works. Which of these examples are you going to try out for yourself? We can't wait to hear from you in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this arguably too long video until the end, here's your bonus. Your life by the numbers. Here's where things get brutally honest because we know you like it when we do that. Statistically speaking, your income will probably not increase dramatically before you die. In most cases, by the time you financially mature your earning power, you'll bring in 50% more than you're doing right now. How much money did you make last year? Write it down. Multiply that by 40, the number of years you'll probably work, and then by 1.5, assuming your averaged out income keeps increasing through your life. This is your TLE, or total lifetime earnings. This is how much money you'll probably earn in your entire lifetime. It might be a lot, it might be a little, but you don't get to keep all of it. Almost three quarters of that money you'll spend on the most basic things. Out of that money, you spend 33% on housing, 17% goes to transportation, 15% to health, 13% to food, and we haven't even gotten to the fun stuff yet. When you divide your TLE by four, technically removing the general expenses, what you're left with is the amount of money you'll have at your disposal to buy your freedom and safety. Look at it and ponder it well. If you don't like that number, if that number doesn't look like it's enough to make you free, you better start learning the math we presented in the video and multiply your earnings, because otherwise, that's the number you'll have to fall back on. We hope this served as a wake-up call to some of you. If you've made it this far into the video, please write the word multiply in the comments so we know you're on the path to improving your reality. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.